Hello again, we're up to question two of part one of uh, a beginning Python series. And we'll crack straight into it this time. Uh, last time we learned how to print something to the console. We also learned uh, about strings. Uh, we'll need to learn about something a little bit different uh, this time, which is variables. And we're going to set a variable and we're going to store it uh, in memory today. So question two, write a program that will ask the user's name, save it in a variable, and then we'll print out hello that person. So with the name included, e.g. hello George. How am I going to do that? Whoops. Go away, my previous code. Go away that. And so, I need a variable. How do I make a variable in Python? I simply write it out and I say name, which is going to be my variable name. I'm going to say name equals input. Name equals input. What this is going to do is it's going to store the variable name in memory somewhere in the computer or somewhere in REPL as we, you know, we're using REPL today. Uh, and it's going to set that value to input. This here isn't asking, is name equal to input or so or saying oh is it no that's something different here this is an assignment name is going to be equal to uh input okay what is my input i need to ask the user for something to make it a bit clearer so i'm going to say what is your name what is your name and when i run this it'll say what is your name and you'll see how i've got a little white box over here that means i can just type in here and i'm going to say mr ward enter great nothing happened i said it was mr ward and name is now equal to mr ward but i didn't do anything with it so we will fix that let's do something with it this time i'm also going to do something a little bit different uh i hope it's not too soon to tell you this but i don't like how this looks I don't like that there, so I'm going to um, I'm going to put something in here, and it's a slash, and it's an n. You see how that's turned pink? That means new line. Let me run that here. Let's run it again. What is your name? You see how my white box is down here? That's what that slash n did. So slash n, new line, uh, and I still haven't done anything with this. Uh, so I still need to do something with that name now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say print and the brackets, the bracket means do this right now. Do this thing right now. Print me something right now. Print hello comma and now I can just say plus name and it will add that name onto hello and print it out. Take a look. What is your name? It's still Mr. Ward. Hello, Mr. Ward, done. That's question two.